Kia ora everyone, we're going to go over how to um, create sections uh, using the new section tool in Rhino 8. Um, so we've got our model here and we want to uh, create some plans, sections. Uh, so to start with, if we go up to drafting in Rhino menu and then come down to sections, there's a whole lot of options here. Start with we want to create, so if we hit create, um, then it says uh, select um, what objects. So in this case, we're just going to push uh, enter or return. Um, and then it asks where you want to cut it, what direction. So we've got here direction. If we want it in the X, we can change it to X or Y. Uh, we can uh, set a custom depth if we want. We want to clip. Um, we can give it a custom name here. We can set uh, a few things, and if we want to flip it, we can do that here. Let's start with a plan, I think. So if we come down into, uh, in this case, the um, right view, and then we want to do, in the order of about a, a metre above the floor level, so I'm just going to close enough here, so I can click there. And then that's created, that section. Um, so I'm just going to push, uh, um, come up into this perspective view because I want to create, uh, uh, so that was the plan created, it's going to call section 00, then we want to create an, a section. So we've got these two, then uh, I'm just going to push enter. And by default, uh, they all show up in perspective mode, so you can see how that sort of created both of them and it's got a solid thickness um, so if we come up uh, and select um, that section cut that we've just made you can see it there uh, it gives us some options in the the properties panel so we can have a look and sees which views it turns it on or off so at the moment I've got two top views uh, actually, I want it in my top view, um, but I don't want that one. So you can see that's not the one I want. So I can turn that off. Uh, um, but if we come and select this one, so that what we're using is the plan, um, we can take that out of the section. So you can see how that affects the section, I mean the perspective view, and we want it in the top view. So now we've got that plan view uh, that cut in there so here I also want to change the name so I don't want that to be I can just go plan um, so we know that that's the plan um, and we could even call that 01 so you can see how we can create more of those uh, and then we can also control where we have it in our layout space so in here you can be really careful so we've got the top one I can set it to be on there so rather than uh, creating a single drawing we're controlling where in layout space these views go so um, now if we come back and select section one uh, we can do something similar so we can come down here uh, and I've got this detail back I can add it to there so if we come into uh, layouts there's our section and what's great about this is I can decide actually I want to change that so I can come back to here and if I move uh, the section so I've decided to move it up to there go back to layouts and that view is updated automatically so it becomes really quick if we want to make any changes. Um, there's a couple of other options that we can do. Um, <coughs> so if we just come back to perspective. Um, I only have one layer in this model, but if you have more layers, I have one layer of building geometry. If you have more layers, you can uh, um, have a bit more control over them. Um, think that is how we so that's layer one 
So if we go back to the layers, layer one, and I'll just pull this out so we've got a bit more view going on. There's section style, so if we can come in and we can, by default it's set here to solid, or I've set it to solid, it might be set to none. Uh, but if I decide actually I want a different pattern, and then go apply, you can see that that updates that automatically for us. And if I come back into there, so just double clicking on the uh, section style, um, and I can change a whole lot of this. I might want to rotate this, I want to change the scale. Uh, 0.5, uh, 0.5. Um, uh, and I can also, the boundary, so the, the layer, as I can actually go, oh, I want that a bit thicker, so I'm going to make that five and we can see what happens and you can see there I've got um, this sort of cross hatch uh, I want to change this pull this out so we get the door oh, what happened there come back Ooh, there pull that out there why is that not staying So I just pulled that out, uh, that section, so I just you can see how we can get a different view. So I just want to bring it back to there. That's now updated that view. I might come back and just adjust this. I don't know if I like that one. Um, you can also import more hatches. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, let's do that. Set to 45 um, and then a apply um, and maybe scale that a bit more uh, 0 0.3 0 0.3 apply so I've got my hatch now so you can see whenever I hatch that layer um, it's going to do that and if you have different layers for different materials you can get a different hatch happening on them uh, now if I come back to the layouts page, uh, why is that not updated there? Let's have a look. Um, we need to check why that's not updated. Or maybe it's just because it's so, oh, I don't know. Okay, let's just come back. Let's do a plan. So layout view. Um, Oh, we've got a plan on another page. Let's go. I think it was on page one. Yeah, so now you can see in here that we've got that plan coming through. What is quite helpful, um, we'll need to see how we can see where that section cut is. So that's helpful now, but you'd want to put your own markers so that they're in the right place. Um, but what we can also do, let's just come into that, or go back into there, and that's set to monochrome. If we come over to this little tab here, uh, under viewport settings, we can tell it to show us the clipping planes or not. So if we uncheck that, that should update. Let's go back here, uh, back out of that, and then into this. So if we now in this viewport, we should be able to turn those clipping planes off. So you can see that they turn them on and off for us. So just quickly going over everything that I've covered. Uh, so um, here's our plan. And we can tell uh, if we select that cutting plane or clipping plane, we can tell it which views we want that to show in. So I've got it here in the top view. Then in the layout space, I've got a page one detail top. Uh, I don't think, oh, I'm gonna put it into that one as well. So we can control where we see that. And if we see uh, the section, I only want that, I actually don't want it in here. So I can just show it in that. Uh, and then we just need to check why that wasn't getting the detail that I added before. Um, one final thing, which can be quite good if you want more control over uh, your section, 
we can come back up to drafting go sections create drawings uh, and then it says select the clipping plane so I'm just going to select this one push into a return and it will bring it out here um, and then you can see we've got a in essence a, a 2d drawing and it's all there and if we come back to layers it's created a whole lot of layers for us um, that we can then turn bits on and off uh, depending so that's the hatch part um, and we can have a bit more control over how that's displayed um, and what's great about this is if I come over here move that way out here that drawing is updated so they're linked in a, in a live view so let's pull this out a bit more so you can see there how it's um, updated that, that view for us automatically so depending on where we have that section cut we can uh, change that view so it becomes really really uh, quick at um, creating new views um, let's get here move this again here we go there back to there um, or thereabouts maybe a little bit more so you can see it can take a little bit just to get those how you want okay so hopefully that gives you some different options so here that's creating a 2d drawing uh, automatically um, if we go back to layouts um, where are we page 3 uh, here let's make this go out of there um, click here let's make this a bit bigger and I'm going to set this to uh, perspective um, there or even it's got the section cuts here right so we can go there um, and then we can oh, click in there pan that to where we want it um, and go from there hopefully that helps I'm just trying to figure out why and if we go into layers now custom layer. that should be doing that so I don't quite know maybe that's not quite set up properly um, but also we want to go to the display properties and turn clipping planes off so now you can see by turning those on and off in that viewport um, we've got that all set up and the benefit of it may take a little bit to set this up but once you've set it up you're um, good to go so uh, hopefully that is helpful uh, I'll just add maybe a ground plane in so there and I'm doing this in the model space well not the model space in the paper space or the layout space um, so you can sort of see I've now got this ground line I can come up to properties and line type scale so I'm going to make this a bit bigger so when it comes to print that'll be a, a thicker line so or you can change that there's lots of ways of changing that so hopefully that is helpful and get you started in creating your sections and plans